hello welcome back to my channel my name is Nora G so today we will be doing some marquee letters not numbers marquee letters and while doing this I will be answering some of your questions because I've gotten a lot of questions since my marquee number 40 and number 18 with balloons so stay tuned and let's roll because I know your time is very valuable this is going to be a very quick DIY video so I'm just gonna jump right into it so just like I did for my marquee number 40 as you can see you could use the printout templates which I currently sell and I've had quite a lot of you reach out to me to um, get this so if you're looking to buy this I'm still available however if you find this kind of tedious or you want to save some time you could purchase a projector you could purchase a projector like this one the prism which I use for my marquee number 18 with balloons all right so this makes it easy you just have to place the number in there and then you trace it out so for this DIY for the letters I actually used the templates laid them out and currently I'm cutting it out already just to save us some time so if you're looking to get the full step by step of how I laid out the papers and cut it out you may want to watch the marking number 40 DIY video which I have the link in the description box below it is basically the same principle it is either you laying out the templates and then gluing um, gluing them together or taping them together or you can use the projector all right so I'm going to jump right into some of your questions one of the questions I got a lot was the kind of tape I used on the foam boards so I actually used duct tape and this duct tape I got from the Dollar Tree you can also you can also find them from Walmart and other maybe hardware stores but you want to get white for obvious reasons okay because the foam boards are white and also if you intend using black foam boards you may want to use black duct tape it just makes common sense these letters L and B are a client's request or client order uh, for a birthday party and she didn't want the number 50 she wanted her initials something she could keep even after her birthday so here we are another question I received was how to make the letter stand especially letters on numbers with rounded bottoms okay like uh, 0 8 number 3 number 9 those can be very tricky but like I showed you with my number 18 and how I did the number 8 you may want to cut out the bottom just a little bit to make it a flat surface so it can actually stand freely all right but for numbers like 0 like I did for my number 40 I didn't make the bottom um, flat I didn't cut it like I did for number 8 however I used duct tape or oh, and some velcro underneath to make it stand especially if you're using it indoors it is way easier to make it stand if you're using it outdoors you may want to use other reinforcements you may want to use some kind of plywood to have it maybe taped or glued to it so it stands by itself okay so please let me know in the comments section if you have any more questions for me and I'll try my best to reply to every one of them thank you okay so now we've gotten to this point and you all know what's coming if you're new to my channel uh, this is a traditional Nora's G's nuke so if you've watched right up to this point please do comment letters and show your girls some love you all know I love to engage with every one of you so please do comment letters and let's get chatting meanwhile let's carry on Another question I got was how much space I made between each incision as you could see me do before folding them over to make the curve. Okay, so for this particular one, there's no particular measurement. Even though I went with the size of my ruler, the width of my ruler, you can do the same. Sometimes I don't even use a ruler. I just basically slip in them through just to make it soft. And I also just recently found out that you do not need to use that as well. You can actually fold the paper or the foam board over without using any incision like I just did. Okay, so you could actually do that without making any incisions in between and still going to curve. You just have to be gentle and careful with it so it doesn't break. Because if you use too much force, it is going to break. Just watch as I continue. 
Make sure to watch to the end to see some of the work from some of you subscribers. I had a few of my subscribers send me their work, what they did from the marking number 40. Some even did letters really, really well. So just watch to the end to see those. Thank you. Another common question I got was the number of light bulbs I had to use or how long the light bulbs I used for the marking number 40 was for each letter. So this is a question that would vary or an answer that would vary um, only because numbers and letters vary as well. All right. So for the number 40, I used 25 for each um, character. And for this LB, I'm also using 25 each. For the letter L, I didn't have to use the entire 20 bulbs, but for letter B, I had to use um, the 25 bulbs, okay? So just make sure to mark out where you want to insert your bulbs, count them out before purchasing your bulbs or using your bulbs so you know exactly how many bulbs you will need for each character. So if you're looking to get my exact measurements of this, I actually measured eight inches apart for this one and from the marking number 40 I think I measured five inches apart so you could go as low as three but just be careful you do not want the bobs to be too close to each other again this is where you basically would freestyle do as you please just make sure that it looks good okay Just have fun with this guys, okay? I know you guys have been asking for me to do some more numbers and letters and trust me, if I could do A to Z and zero to nine, I would do it, but this is a lot of work. So I will only bring to you more videos as I get more client others to make these numbers and letters for you, okay? So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe. Oh, that is Hobby helping me right there. So his hand says hi. <laughs> anyway, so this is the final look without the lights on and this is it with the lights on. You can see how much difference the lighting makes. Okay, so this is our marquee letter, our giant five feet marquee letter with lights using foam boards from the Dollar Tree or from Amazon. Next are some of the numbers and letters from some of my lovely, beautiful subscribers. So this is from Alice on her 51st birthday. She made that. Yes. And this is from Chrissy. Thank you so much for sending these to me. I love to see what you do with my DIY videos. So please do hit me up via the um, Instagram link in the description box or via email for the di different DIY craft of mine that you've tried. I love to see them. And so that sums it up for today's video. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching.